live on tape from Studio 306. This is Pines Today, Northside Middle School Weekly Announcement Broadcast. Today is Monday, December 12, 2022. Now let's go to the newsroom with your host. Good afternoon, Titans. I'm Finn, and welcome to this week's edition of Titans Today. What did you guys do last weekend? I went to the mall with my two friends, Chloe and Araya. With that being said, let's turn to the news. Do you need help going to college? Well, we can help with that. 21st Century Scholarships are open in the front office. 8th graders need to turn this in for the end of the year celebration. Every morning, the doors for school open at 8.45 a.m. Students should stay in their car until 8.45 a.m. or arrive at 8.45 a.m. Students, you should not be hanging outside. At the end of the day, students wanting to go to an after-school event have to go home, then come back to attend with a parent or guardian. When it comes to iReady, remember 30 by 4. 30 minutes and 4 lessons of math and ELA reading. 30 minutes and 4 lessons passed by the end of the quarter. We are in need of winter coats. If you guys have any coats or spare winter items to donate, please bring them to school. Or if you need a coat, be sure to visit the Titan Closet or see Miss Roberts for more information. If you need some food, well, the food pantry is open in the Titan Cafe on Tuesday at 4.15 p.m. for all Titan families. The most wonderful time of the year is here. The concert will start on Wednesday, December 14th at 7.15 p.m. in the Muncie Central High School Auditorium for free. It will feature the Titan Band and Choir. We, along with Muncie Central, are celebrating December as a way of raising re- awareness for t- human trafficking. For more on this, here are Muncie Central students Renee V and Jonah S. to tell us more. Hi Northside, I'm Renee Voss. And I'm Jonah Smith. And we're here to talk to you guys about Dressember. Dressember is a month-long initiative that helps support victims of human trafficking. December the 9th Nine. is Freedom Friday, a day where all students can dress up and make a change. Dressing up just means looking a little more fancy than normal. The goal is for people to notice the change and ask you about it. Freedom Friday is this Friday. So let's help spread the word that this Friday everyone should dress up and help spread awareness for victims of human trafficking. Don't forget, Freedom Friday, this Friday, December the 9th. We hope to see you all there. Thank you. And remember, we are actually celebrating Dress Number this Friday, December 16th. And those are our top stories for today. I don't know about y'all, but I can't wait for Christmas. Now let's go to La Maya to hear about this week's weather. Thanks, Looking for conditions to be cloudy with a high of 42 degrees and low 20 degrees. The rest of the week looks to include rain and sunshine with the highs of 45 and the lows of 20 in the low of the 20s. Take, then taking a look at this take, take a look at this weekend will be the highs of 30 degrees and low 27 degrees. And Sunday will also be cloudy with a high of 36 and low of 26 degrees. That's all the weather here in Science Land and beyond. Back to you, Finn. Thank you, Lamaya. As you know, we have been reporting recently on the opening of our Titan Library. There is a special message from our B team regarding this. Books. They need us. We need them. Left on the ground, left in the rain. Left nowhere. Forgotten. J.K. Rowling, William Shakespeare, Stephen King, Dr. Seuss. They need a home. Well,
Well, today, you can come down to help everyone. Tell your teacher to come down to the library, and you and your class can have books forever. Remember, classes can sign up today to visit the library. Now, moving on, today is December 12th, and today may or may not be a special day for you. But let's take a look at what happened on this day in history. Thanks, Finn. On this day in 1492, Christmas Columbus discovered his spaniel. Also on this day in 1687, Fran Francisco Germany, who was a famous Italian violist and composer, was born in Lucca, Italy. And in the sporting world in 1868, the first American Bio Bio College opens in New York. And finally, today is National Point Saturday Day. In, six in 16th cent century, Mexico, the connection between the poinsettia plant and the Christmas season begins. And, th and that is a look at what happened on this day in history. Thank you, Troy. Now let's see what our Titans have been doing in the world of Titan sports. Good afternoon, Titans. We are back with some more winter sports. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Drevin, tell us about our results from last week, sponsored by 3rd and 11. On Monday, our girl Titan basketball team went against the McCullough Giants. The 7th grade dominated 41-11. 8th grade also came in with an awesome victory with 28-20. Congrats, Lady Titans. On Tuesday, our 7th and 8th grade boys basketball team won against Delta Eagles. The 7th grade team had a McDonald Big Mac smashing score of 62 to 30 games. And then our 8th grade team had a Chrissy Ronaldo Stewie score of 50 to 33. Way to work hard, Titans. Those are results for this week. What another great week of Titan sports. What a great Titan victory last Tuesday. Here are some highlights. Drevens, we're at the aftermath of the 8th grade boys game. Who'd you play tonight? Delta. So how do you think you did? I feel like I did good. I feel like I can improve a little better. So what do you need to improve on and your team? Probably moving the ball more and also getting mine. Okay. So how many points do you think you scored today? In the 8th grade game I only had like 4, but in the 7th grade I had like 15. Thank you. Okay guys, next up we got... Kai. So how do you think you did? Uh, I did good, but I think I could have done better. So what do you think you and your team needs to improve on? Passing and playmaking. All right. How many points do you think you scored? Around eight. All right. Thank you. Next up, we got... Jerome. So how do you think you did today? Uh, I did all right. Not too good. I mean, I didn't do bad, but I, I didn't do too bad, but I didn't do the greatest. Yeah. So what do you think you and your team needs to improve on? Um, probably calling out screens and passing the ball more. How many points do you think you made today? I think like 13, yeah, somewhere around like 13. Thank you. Finally, but not least, we got Jackson. So I heard he played in both games today? Yep. So why is that? Because I'm talented. <laughs> <laughs> talented. So how do you think you and your team did today? I think we did good. We can improve on some stuff, but I think for the most part we did good. Okay. So how many points do you think you scored in total? Like 30. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for driving. 
You can see him and other members of our B team each week during the winter sports season live at 12.35 on Fridays. Now, let's take a look at what Titan Sports have Titan Sports are taking place this week. Today at 5 p.m., the 7th and 8th grade boys will be facing off against the Anderson Highland Indians. This game will be hosted right here in the Titans here in Titan territory. So wish me and my teammates good luck. Also coming up today at 5 p.m., the girls 7th and 8th grade basketball team will be facing off against Jay County. This game will take place away at Jay County. The 7th and 8th grade girls will host another game tomorrow at 5 p.m. against Yorktown Middle School. Good luck, Lady Titans. Let's bag in another win. The 6th grade boys will also have their first game against York the Yorktown Tigers. The game will take place on Wednesday, December 14th at 5 p.m. in the Tigers' den. That's, that's a look at what is coming up, coming up this week. We also want to remind you that future Bearcats are invited to come train at Muncie Central High School Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 4.35 to 5.15 p.m. That's all for Titan Sports. Want, want more sports? Check out Titan Sports Live this Friday at 12.35. Until then, I'm Carlos. Time now to celebrate. Our Titans are going another year older this week. Thanks, Carlos. We are excited to celebrate our Titans by wishing them a happy birthday today. Happy birthday to Audrey M, David M, Jonah J, Ethan S, Zayden B, Ariana G, Jaja Asia C, King H, Jason H, Brayden M, Brave C, Alicia, Alicia N, Amaya S, Jaylee R, Nevea B, Von, Von A, Chloe G. Those are all the birthdays. Let's head back to Studio 306 A with Finn. Thank you, Troy. And happy birthday to those Titans. Have fun celebrating. It's now time to test your knowledge with this week's trivia challenge. Take it away, Lamaya. Thanks, Finn. Last week's question was, what company was Lumbridge Denison's chapstick that he found on his desk? The answer was the YMCA. Only three, only three classes, guesses, correct answer. Congratulations to the success classes of Harris, Du Bois, and Newman. This leaves the leaderboard the same with Ms. Turner's class, winning with seven points. Congratulations to them. Both her class and Mr. Wickworth's class will receive their trophies for the winning first and second quarter trivia challenge. Thank you for all participating and good luck to the to the when the challenge starts again this January. Back to you, Finn. Thank you, Lamaya. Today is, a, today is a special day because we are introducing a new series here at Titan TV, The Adventures of Tommy the Titan. Here's the first episode titled, The Things That Take No Ta Talent. Hello, Northside, and welcome to the latest edition of The Adventures of Tommy Titan. We know at Northside that it is always good to give your best effort. In fact, that is our motto, the secret is effort. T-S-I-E, being great at the things that take no talent. We're gonna look at our student today. His name is Tommy Titan. That's right, Tommy Titan. He is the little brother of the famous Terry Titan. Terry was an honor roll student, a gifted athlete, and a favorite student among so many teachers. And then there's Tommy. Tommy, well, he needs our help today. So let's give him some help on some tips on giving your best effort at Northside. One of the things that takes no talent is simply being on time. Now let's look how Tommy starts his day. He wakes up late, he's in a rush, and before he knows it, he's already running late to school. He's already stressing himself out. And then he gets 
gets to school and begins to socialize a little too much. Now, Tommy, you know that's not the right way when you are running late to class. So, Tommy walks in late to class, misses out on some key instruction from his teacher, and then wonders why he is struggling on the upcoming test. Now, Tommy, let's do this over again so that we can show the secret really is effort. Now, you see Tommy getting to school on time. Well done, Tommy. And you see him walking through the hallways. Certainly, he takes time to talk to his friends, but he's very brief and he's very cognizant of getting to class on time. In fact, if you are early, you are on time. Tommy's able to get into class and start his work. And notice how Tommy is less stressed than some of the other students. Well done, Tommy. Being on time is the right thing to do. Now, let's look at Tommy's work ethic. Well, Tommy's struggling right now. Do you see him? He is sleeping in class. Well, he did not do a good job of getting some good rest before school. Now he's tired, and he's barely staying awake. Oh no, he's falling behind in his classes. Wake up, Tommy, wake up. Well, now that Tommy is kind of awake, He's engaged in side conversations with his students. He is not paying attention to what the teacher is saying or what the assignment requires. Does Tommy know today's objective in class? Does Tommy even know the directions? Does Tommy even know the success criteria or the I can statement? Yes, you can, Tommy. Yes, you can. But what do you see? Tommy is making every excuse possible. Even when his teacher is trying to redirect him, Tommy's mindset goes to excuses. Now, Tommy, I know you can do better. Now, let's have Tommy do this again. Show us, Tommy, what a good work ethic looks like. Notice how Tommy is alert in class. He is not engaged in side conversations, even when he has a student or students trying to distract him. Tommy is totally focused on the lesson. He knows today's objective in the class. In fact, he can even recite to you the I can statement. Yes, you can, Tommy. Yes, you can. Well done, Tommy. Way to show us that Titan work ethic. Being prepared is a great life skill, no matter if you're a middle school student or an adult. It is always best to put in a great effort to be prepared. Notice how Tommy arrives at school with his supplies. He puts his backpack in his locker, and then he heads to class with a fully charged Chromebook. That's right. Notice how Tommy has all his folders, he has plenty of extra pencils, and he is ready to learn. Now, let's look at a very important trait for every successful Titan, good body language. Notice how Tommy is walking down the hallway. He's struggling. He has his shoulders down, his head is down, He's not walking with confidence. Now, Tommy, let's try this again. Walk down the hallways with your shoulders up, your head held high. You are proud of who you are, and you're proud to show others that you are a model student here at Northside. Now, let's look at Tommy sitting at a desk. Oh, Tommy, he's struggling. It is hard for him to even stay awake sitting in a desk like that, let alone pay attention. Now, Tommy, sit up straight. Have good posture. Give good eye contact to your teacher. 
and of course, the students that you are collaborating with. Well done, Tommy. That's how you do it. That's how you sit at a desk. Now let's look at Tommy. His teacher is asking him to do an assignment and Tommy doesn't like it. Tommy's huffing and puffing and breathing angrily. Notice his hands, they're flailing. His body language is disrespectful. In fact, it kind of makes Tommy look a little bit silly. Now, Tommy, let's try this again. Tommy, we know it's all about mindset. Now let's look at Tommy. Oh, he's struggling. Tommy is blurting out in class, that's right. He is talking when he's not supposed to be in class. Tommy needs to realize that there are other students in the class as well. He is not just the only kid in class. Notice his teacher is trying to redirect him, but Tommy's eyes are rolling. That's right. He is rolling his eyes. That is not good body language. Notice how Tommy just gets out of his seat without permission. He's moving around the classroom, distracting others. In fact, he's struggling to keep his hands to himself. Now, Tommy, you know better. Show us the Titan way. Notice how Tommy is respectful to the people around him. He's a good friend. Tommy understands that if you want to have friends, you need to first show yourself friendly. Well done on your body language, Tommy. That is an important component of the Titan way. Tommy, you sure did learn a lot of good lessons today. You are exhibiting to students the Titan way, which always comes down to effort. Being great at the things that take no talent. TSIE, the secret is effort. Thank you, Tommy, for showing us the Titan way. Now let's move on. Do you like being involved in social or physical activities after school? Then join a club. It's great for your mental health and just a fun way to pass the time. So to help with this, here is our, our club news for the week. If you need help with your homework, head into the office to get permission slip or you can get a virtual option. This will be open from Monday through Thursday from 4 to 5 p.m. Do you like jazz, jazz? Titan Jazz will meet Wednesdays from 8 a.m. through 8.45 in the band room. You do not have to be in band to join. I'm not asleep, I'm awake. Here's an awake mentoring club. See Mr. Pryor for, or Miss Teal for more information. There will be a Christmas party Thursday in room 125, sponsored by the Pryor Foundation. FCA will meet in the choir room on Fridays at 8 a.m. through 8.45. Come to join all the club news we have to report on today. Remember to get involved in at least three club or sports this year for Mr. Williams Challenge. Thank you all for watching today. It's been fun working with everyone here on set. Until next time, I'm Finn, and this has been your Titan Today by Students for Students. Remember that Titans are a team. The secret is effort. Happy holidays to all, and to all a good night. Stay classy, Titans. This has been a production.